I want to start this video series with answering the question, why is it so important to prepare for job interviews? I will mention a few points which are maybe obvious to you and maybe some points which are not that obvious and I also want to explain in a bit more detail. I'm Leo and in my job as an engineering manager I sit on the other side of the table interviewing candidates a lot and with my knowledge I want to help you to prepare for your next job interviews. When I first started to go to job interviews I thought that I don't need to prepare that much. I thought I can convince them anyway that I will be a good addition to the team and that my skills are relevant to the company. And I also thought that the job interviews are anyway not what you actually do at your job later, right? This video series is what I would have loved to have when I prepared for my first job interviews. I really didn't know how important it was to prepare and how much I should prepare before going to my first interview. Most questions really surprised me. I went into the job interviews and I was not prepared enough. So questions like, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? They really surprised me and I never had a good answer to them. Preparing for your job interviews is so important because you will always leave a first impression. You miss a lot of opportunities if you don't prepare properly. You definitely will lose some salary if you're not prepared and you don't convince them that you are already on this experience level. But I think one of the most important things about preparing for job interviews is understanding yourself, understanding what you want and understanding what you don't want. That immediately will make you more confident and really much better suited to go to the job interviews and maybe get the job or decide that the job is maybe not what you really wanted. I really have to explain that interviews are something different than the actual job you're doing later. And this is something I for a long time was really upset about and I thought like this is stupid. But um, throughout this interview series I will try to explain how it looks from an engineering manager side and what the company is also looking for and why the interviews are structured in a certain way. Also you are most likely not applying alone for a job interview. There are many other candidates which apply for the same role and you need to prove them that you are better than all of them. The last point why I think it's so important to prepare for job interviews is that I think your job is such a big part of your life that it's so important to prepare properly for the job interviews and then maybe get the job you love and be happy at your work instead of just doing some job and being not that happy eight hours a day. First of all, Preparing for a job interview allows you to present yourself in the best way possible. It lets you really showcase your skills, highlight your experiences and your qualifications. So you become a much better candidate in the eyes of the company. If you're just starting out your career or if you're already really good, you still need to prepare for a job interview because the skills you need for a job interview are different than the skills you need in your day-to-day -day job. Let's say you prepare for a senior software engineer role and you only prepare a little bit because as I just said you, you think that the job interview preparation is not that important and you will convince them anyway that you are a good fit for this company. You go through the whole job interview process and you even pass all the job interviews and the company even makes you an offer. But the company assesses that you are not senior enough and they only offer you a, se a software engineering role, not your senior title you had before or you want to have, right? Not only could you easily get rejected if the company only looks for senior engineers and all the hours you have done interviewing and maybe researching the company was worthless, but also you immediately lost a lot of the opportunities you would have had and obviously also a lot of the salary. So let's just imagine in this example that the senior engineer position would have given you 100,000 euros a year and now they offer you a lower position with maybe 80,000 euros a year. In this example you immediately lost 20,000 euros in your first year and I think you can see the salary you would get more as your salary while preparing for the job interviews. Let's assume you prepare 40 hours for your job interview to do a really good job. You, In this example you would have gotten 500 euros per hour for your job interview preparation and I think this is a pretty good salary. Financially it's really worth it to prepare for job interviews especially because it is much easier to get a better salary when negotiating a job offer than when getting a promotion later on when you already work at the company. As you know it's really hard to get a promotion for 7% or 10% more salary but during the job interview process it is much easier to get that. The salary is obviously only one dimension of the job. It is also very important to consider the cultural fit, the challenges this new workplace offers, the uh, products the company works on, if it aligns with your values and 
also your growth opportunities over time. But not preparing for job interviews will likely get you fewer opportunities and will probably also worsen all of those conditions we just talked about. Let's now talk about the second big point I wanted to mention, which is understanding what you want. A lot about job interview preparation is understanding your own needs, is reflecting on your strengths and weaknesses, and is researching the company. So that means that you ensure that the job is also a good fit to you. Only if your priorities and your expectations are aligned with the new job, it sets you up for success and you will be much happier and much more successful at your new job. In addition, something I also have experienced myself is that if you prepare well for job interviews, you will go through your experiences, prepare for your strengths and weaknesses, and that will make you much more confident during the job interview process. And the important part of that is that it will reduce your anxiety and stress a lot, so it will make you present yourself in the best way possible. This will also give you the ability to clearly state what you want and what you don't want and not try to just impress the interviewer and get the job. So really take the time to prepare. That will increase the amount of opportunities you get, but also increase the chance that once you've found the job you really want to have, that you actually get it and that you will be happier over the long term. Okay, now we spoke a lot about why it is so important to prepare and I hope I could convince you to spend some hours to prepare for your next job interview. But the obvious question now is, what exactly should you prepare? With this video series, I want to give you a clear structure you can follow step by step when preparing for your next job interview process. Along the way, I also will list more resources I think are good to dive deeper or to learn a bit more if you think you want to learn more about them. Let's quickly talk about what this interview series will not be. This interview series won't give you a guide or a script you can memorize to just crack the next job interview and get the job. I believe that will not make you authentic and confident during the interviews, which will immediately reduce your chances of getting the job, but also hurting you in the long term because you might end up in a job you didn't even want to have in the first place. In every video, I will explain why this step is important, what this step is for, what we as hiring managers are looking for, and how you can prepare best for this step. And I will be honest now and say something upfront. I think practicing your answers is one of the most important steps. It is important that you understand why the interview is done and that you structure your answers and write them down before. But practicing will really get you to this level of confidence and will get you to the level where you convince someone in an interview that you are a good fit for the job and that they should give you a good job offer. Oh, and one last thing. I will also add a link to a worksheet into the description of my videos, which you can use to follow my videos and the exercises I propose in them. I listed all the questions there and you can use it to structure your preparation. So you will need to invest some time into the preparation for your interviews, but I think that it's more than worth it to get a job you love and also to get a fair compensation and grow personally and professionally. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments of this video and I'll try to answer them there. I'm especially interested in the jobs you're applying for and I want to celebrate with you once you got the job you love. So definitely write that in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.